she feels not really stoked. Okay, so I'm watching this and I'm editing this video you're about to watch. Um, it's immensely cringeworthy. It's not even like, <clears throat> oh, it's kind of whatever, you know, oh, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. This video was taken over a period of multiple days uh, and it's in regards to my 1981 Cutlass Supreme that I bought. Uh, always wanted a G body after my Regal, after I sold it, I was heartbroken and I missed the way that it cruised. And I wanted another two door and I wanted to make a nice daily out of it. Hi, Penny. Hi, I know. Hello, Lincoln. What is it? I don't know either. Okay. My dogs are better at this than I am. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Please, please watch the video. It's very cringy. They'll get better, I promise. Um, and yeah, I will uh, hopefully catch you guys in the next one. It's a 1981 with a 3.8 V6. I have the other grill, it's in the back. <laughs> but, uh, just saying right now, 700 bucks. I'm beyond excited. And after this fuel pump, <clears throat> she should be running. I had to pull the power steering pump to get down there, but there she is. Catch up with you guys in a minute. So that's gone poorly. Yeah, so... Here are two different styles. It kind of made me nervous, so I go to put it in. Both. Both of them are stripped completely. <clears throat> so I was tightening, tightening, tightening. Crush washer started to compress, and then it just started spinning. So, it's the next day. Found a helicoil kit. We're gonna see about this. So I found a helicoil kit. A drill bit, so let's get sketchy, I guess. Cause I hate that stuff. Got the helicoil in place and uh, I didn't do a bad job this time, I don't think. We're gonna see if the fuel pump will even pump and see if there's any leaks, see if it'll turn over. It's got a check engine light, but um, I think that was cause a few connections weren't plugged in, but uh, We'll see. Let's see if she wants to turn over. I should probably also apologize for the level of whiteness you have to look at. Ooh, hot leather. <sighs> okay. Let's see if this thing will actually kind of want to do its thing. Mm. Tried. This battery is very sad. <clears throat> Got the battery out of the vet and switched out the old EverStart. Looks pretty good in there. Moment of truth. Promising. Hopefully I don't kill this battery before we start getting fuel. We'll see. If I ever said I was good at this, I apologize, because I'm not. I processed that I didn't prime the fuel pump after trying to crank it for about 20 minutes. We're gonna give her a shot. and spray it and start it and then maintain it running for just a minute so it'll actually pull fuel so yeah okay here we go dang it this is gonna take a few tries Sounds like battery. Let's see if we get another shot. And jump time. Okay, so we got it all hooked up. Got it all hooked up. Shout out coffee. Um, I'm not too stoked. The motor kind of sounds really rough, even though it's just starting to try and turn over. And it, it's been a long time. It's still kind of like 
It doesn't sound, uh, it's not exactly a singer. Come on. Yes. Yes. Fuel. Yes. Hell yes. Oh my God. That's a little gross. That's a little gross. But that's okay, because we have fuel filters, and now we have a reason to install them because the car actually wants to run. This is so weird doing this in the middle of a neighborhood, and no one's here, so it's like, don't mind me just trying to start my cutlass. Anyways, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna get trucking on the fuel lines and the fuel filters and everything like that, and how the fuel pump is actually doing what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna figure out what to do with that cup of gasoline. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Call it cocky, call it whatever you want, but we're all hooked up and everything, and uh, I even unplugged the battery. I'm gonna see if this thing will crank fuel and do all that good stuff um, without a jump. Probably kind of stupid, but I'm gonna try it because I'm curious. She's tired. I don't think she really liked that, <laughs> but it worked. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to buy a couple more of those. Hope I'm not out of gas. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna start it again. Fuel coming in. But it runs. And it doesn't sound like death. It doesn't sound like life either. <clears throat> it's actually idling. I wouldn't say happily. There's a lot of smells coming out, and a few of them smell like fire, but it's idling. Pretty smooth. It looks like it definitely, definitely needs a motor mount, but I mean, so did my Buick. smells pretty good she's running though I think with some motor mounts and a tune-up she'd be drivable for sure which is good because I need to get tires bad okay I've been dying to try this so there's literally nothing coming out and there is a check engine light Something smells like fire still. Either way though, she runs. She runs, she's humming right along. She might have too much oil in her, I think. That's okay though, I'm gonna run through and do a full tune up, probably do the motor mounts and everything. But I'm gonna do that at home. Because it runs and I can drive it. Right back down to idle. And the check engine light went away. Oh my God, did I catch that? It's because I bought leather cleaner for the seats. That's why I bought leather cleaner. I'm talking about washing it and all that good stuff. And now it's paying it forward. Yeah, she's just a little V6. That's for sure. Okay, I gotta try and drive around the block. She's idling a little funny now. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> okay, well that's not it. So that's a little unnerving.
Maybe the torque converter is just not having it. Hmm. So you should leave do first. Sounded like squirting of some sort. I bet the tranny has zero fluid in it. Probably should have checked that prior to trying to drive. <laughs> this could be really awesome or really disappointing. Okay, put two quarts of fluid in it, tranny fluid. But in order to check it, I'm just kind of want to, you know, drive around the block, make sure you know everything. Lubricated and the fluids moved around before I uh, actually, you know, put the right amount in. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's happening. I'm so stoked right now. It's driving under its own power. Definitely needs motor mounts. I can feel the vibration of the motor in my foot. I hope I don't blow a tire right now. She feels not really stoked. I hear a blinker. I hear a blinker, but I don't see one on the dash. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm driving my Cutlass. I'm driving my Cutlass right now. It sounds weird and kind of sick, but I'm driving my Cutlass right now. Oh man. Ooh. Oh, I just want to whip it around the block. A whole bunch. Oh, it's got some suspension. Brakes are... <laughs> no, they're not good. I was going to lie and tell you brakes are not bad. Brakes are not good. That was pretty sketchy. Uh, steering has kind of a binding point. Oh, but she floats. Oh, she floats. She's got that G body kind of like... Uh, you know? I'm driving my $700 Cutlass. That fuel pump was a huge pain and it kind of set me up like, oh no, this car might be really irritating. I hope I didn't just buy another Limon. Oh no, this thing's sweet. It's small, it's, it's way smaller than the Regal. For, it feels way smaller than the Regal. Oh, she's slow. <laughs> it sounds like I'm leaving a trail of tranny fluid all over the place, but. Oh, she's so comfortable. Oh, and she steers. You gotta watch the, you gotta watch the, oh, see, it's got a binding point in the steering linkage there, but. Oh my goodness. It's a one finger driver, man. I'm telling you, all the old G bodies are one finger drivers. I am beyond stoked. Brakes need work. It still needs plenty of work and it'll do really, really, really well with a 350. Already, already getting the G body looks. Oh yeah. Oh, we're cruising now, boys. Oh. I guess there's supposed to be a needle for the speedo. <laughs> I don't. There's no. <laughs> there's no needle for the speedo. Yeah, it's gone. So I definitely need a new dash. Definitely needs brakes. And there are some weird noises happening when I actually like utilize certain aspects. No, it's okay. Go ahead. I have horrible brakes. 
I almost just T-boned a Hyundai Genesis. Oh! There's something that might just be... <laughs> she cruises! Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and I have to go to work. Oh, that sucks. I don't think the parking brake works. <laughs> well, that'd be really funny. It's permanently in park now. <laughs> so, uh, success though, definite success. I'm beyond excited for this right now. I got a lot of cleaning to do and there are still bees. There are still bees just everywhere. This whole car is a beehive, I think. I drove my Cutlass Supreme today. Um, now I have to go to work? Get out of here. I don't care about you. Leave me alone. I drove it. Um, wow, these bees are angry. Um, hell yeah, we did it. It only took a fair amount of blood, a whole bunch of patients that I did not have. And, uh, oh, it's behind the mirror. It's behind the mirror. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, okay. So, rock on, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you actually stayed this long, uh, you're a saint and you have way more patience than I do. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye out. I'll keep putting out content on this. Check engine lights back on. Damn it. Whatever. It runs.